I feel like someone locked up in a jail cell. I can't wait to get out. I can't wait to have a nice steak or a nice homemade bowl of soup. Debbie Boya's story is sort of like a really, really terrible movie. Five months ago, she was mauled by a pack of dogs and survived that, only to come down with a coronavirus two times. And now she can't wait to get her life back to normal. Eight on your size, Chip Osowski spoke with her this evening and is in Spring Hill with a story you'll see only on eight. The attack happened on February 7th in the backyard of her home. Tonight I learned that while these dogs were attacking her and biting her over her entire body, she never blacked out and remembers the entire horrifying ordeal. I had long hair. That's gone. One went one way, the other. I even watched my toes go over that way, and my hair went that way. I thought I was in an Indian cowboy and Indian movie. I know the white one's the one that did all the damage up top. I felt his mouth over my head and I felt and heard the crunch. After five long months in hospitals and rehab facilities, Debbie Bolia was really looking forward to attending her family's fundraiser so she could thank the neighbors and first responders who helped. If it wasn't for them, I, don't, I think the dogs would have finished the job. Everybody was using chairs and sticks and those dogs weren't giving up. But a second coronavirus test came back positive. So you survived this vicious attack and then you get tested and you're COVID positive. You survived yeah. that and you're COVID positive yeah. again? That's right. How does That's this happen? Right. I, even, I even said to my daughter, I just pray to God, I don't fight all this pain to come back and die from COVID. Her son-in-law Falcon takes her to see her birds. She hopes to see them soon in person, barring any other setbacks. The fundraiser to help the family with medical expenses is scheduled to take place tomorrow at the Beef O'Brady's in Brooksville. For more information on that, you can log on to WFLA.com or check out the WFLA app. In Spring Hill, I'm Chip Osowski, 8 on your side.